いらっしゃいませ。私の渋谷にある小料理屋にようこそ。My name is Mas Brasilius, and uh, I'd like to greet you welcome to today's little sake testing at Mitsu san's restaurant in Shibuya, Tokyo. We will now taste four different sakes, and uh, together, me and Mitsu san, we will try to give you an image of what sake can be from different points of angles. This is the first one from uh, mid or south mid of Japan, from Nara, the ancient capital of Japan. And the name of this sake is Harushka. Harushka, which means spring deer. And as you may know, in Nara there are a lot of wild or rather tame deers wandering around in the park. So this is the spring deer. And of course, just as Mitsu san shows, first you look at the color. That's why there are blue uh, concentric uh, painting in the cup to see that it's clear, like this. And of course, the bouquet. Oh, Dean Yoid. It smells very good. And finally, of course, This is quite good. It's a little sweet, but not too sweet. And acidity is very balanced to my mind. So this spring deer sake is a Junmai Daiginjo, which means that it is polished to more than 50% from the original size of the grains. And Junmai uh, means that no alcohol is added, everything is from the rice. Uh, sometimes uh, alcohol is added to make the sake cheaper, sometimes to make the taste come out a bit more clearly. It originates from the war time when rice was sparse, so this was a way to save rice. But it's a fine balance and in many cases the Dunmai is more uh, refined in the taste, not so raw. And this is a good example, I think, of a good Dunmai, and especially the Dunmai by Hindu. It's time for the second one from Miyagi on the east coast of Honshu, the biggest island, a bit more north, and the sake is a bit more spicy. Uh, the name is very a bold name, Ichi no Kura which means actually brewery number one. So Mitsu-san, may I pour a little for you? Hi, I have a So, Kampai. What do you say Mitsu-san? Karakuchi desu ne. Rather classical, traditional taste is what Mitsu-san feels. A spicy, but traditional, not, not, not a wild sake, a controlled sake. And today's third sake comes from my favorite area, that is Niigata north side of Japan, in the snow country, uh, where the water is wonderful, the rice is very good, and as you of course know, the sushi rice 
and sake rice is different rice. Sake rice is much more round uh, and uh, there are certain defined uh, types of rice used for sake and that grows very well in the Niigata area. So the next has a very nice name, named after an old samurai. Uh, and the name of next sake is Kagetora. Kagetora. Uh, if you translate it, it means uh, tiger view, but it's actually a name of a famous person. Could you pour some? So let's try the kagetora. Kagetora. Kampai. Kampai. This is also a bit spicy with a nice aftertaste. A bit acidity, but not not too much. So it's time for the fourth, and now we've moved up to the utmost north of Japan, to the island of Hokkaido, which is almost like a Scandinavian landscape, but they can also make very good Nihonshu. So let's try number four. four. What's the name of this sake? Otokoyama. Otokoyama, which means man mountain. mountain. Kampai. Kampai. Nice bouquet. Enjoy. So, this fourth one from Hokkaido was really a tough one. Tough. But maybe my favorite. Mm. Which one was your favorite? Number three, Niigata. Okay. Niigata. Oh, yes. Now we have tested number one, two, three, four. Could you tell us again the names of. Harushika. Harushika, Ichinokura, Ichinokura, Koshi no Kagetora, Koshi no Kagetora, Sorekara, Otokoyama, Otokoyama. We hope that this little demonstration have made you curious about real good sake because there's such a lot of tasty sake that fits to all kinds of dishes and fits very well. To drink as a drink alone. Kampai.